Hi, this is Madeline from Sonic Bloom with a brand new video tutorial series called With a Little Help from Max for Life. And as the name suggests, we're going to have a look at various Max for Life devices that we can achieve cool things in Ableton Live with. And at least for the first bunch of videos, I'm going to concentrate on looking at free devices that are available from the Ableton Pack section. And we're also going to focus on creating cool things that we can use for live performance. Although, of course, a lot of them are going to work for all kinds of things. So for the first one, we're going to build a nice generative arpeggiator MIDI effect that we can jam with very well. And for this, I've chosen the Dr. Chaos device that is available in the free probability pack by Sonic Faction that you can download from the Ableton pack section. I'm including a link below. And here in there, you can find the Dr. Chaos. And I'm going to drag that into this MIDI track that has a um, guitar preset and some effects. Without it, it's going to sound like this. So we have something to jam with, some beats and percussion. Since it's a pattern generation device, it will start playing once playback starts. This is quite boring because it just does the C major scale right now. Um, but we're going to make sure that we're going to get some nice settings. So, first step, making sure that it's in a MIDI effect rack because we want to map the nicest parameters to jam with. And then since it's pattern generation and then we'll keep going if playback keeps going, we're going to have to make sure we can turn it off when we don't want it anymore. So I'm going to map the on off button from the Dr. Chaos to macro one. And then of course, since it's in the end an arpeggiator, we want to make sure that we've also mapped the rate. I'm going to map that to the same macro and I'm going to rename it to rate. Now we've got that, but we aren't going to have to make sure that it's on when we want it. Because right now, well, it's really fast. So we're going to change that to 75 and that to 0. You basically have to figure out which rate you want uh, yourself. I've already done that. So I'm going to set it to an eighth. And as you can see, unfortunately, it doesn't actually show the real rate. Uh, but numbers between 0 and 127 and you're going to have to make sure yourself to know which numbers correspond to which rate. But you're going to jam with it beforehand anyways, I suppose. So what else? So I think I'm going to explain the device a little bit so you understand what we're doing. First, I'm going to change the key to A. So now we've got a major. And then here, as you can see, these numbers 1 to 8, they correspond to these notes and these networks. So with this, you can set the network. So now I've set it to 1, and 1 is A, so it loops back to A as the next note. And with 2 to B and to C sharp, and so on and so forth. Right, so we're going to map the root node, so the 1, to macro 2. And then since they're quite musical, we're going to also map the third, so 3, to macro 3, and 5, so the fifth, to macro 4. And now we can see what we can do with that. Um, I've got push 2 here that I can use the 8 encoders for, for the effect rack. 
So let's start playback and jam a little bit. Okay, so we can get something nice going already and if we don't want it anymore, we can easily turn it off. Right, so what next? Um, we've got four macros left. What works really well is the network chaos and the node chaos, so we're going to map those to macro 5 and 6. And then we've got two more left, and I suggest we map that to the key, to macro 7, and the scale to macro 8. Although you have to be careful, because when I go here in, into the mapping mode, you can see those can't be adjusted, so there's no min and ma min or max to set, unfortunately. So we're going to turn that back off. And um, yeah, now we're ready to jam with it. And as you will see, and hear rather, you can do pretty nice things with just those settings. Playing with the network chaos. From night chaos.
Well, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.